Hey there everyone, welcome to another review. I'm Robbie. I'm Jai. And Beatrix Potter's beloved little bunny has finally hit the big screen in a big live action adaptation. These are our thoughts on Peter Rabbit. Hope you enjoy. Rabbits are generous, honest, pure, graceful creatures. Our natural rabbit's pace should be able to keep up. Ah! Do you know what? That would never have worked. Blue Jacky, no pants. You must be Peter Rabbit. Yeah, that's right. Wait, didn't you try to eat me? Show me your teeth. Do like a go like. It was you. I knew it. How are you? So good to see you. Hey, hey, hey. Peter Rabbit was directed by Will Gluck, and it stars Domhnall Gleeson, Rose Byrne, Sam Neill, and the voice talents of James Corden, Daisy Ridley, Margot Robbie, and a ton of other famous British actors. So many others. Yes. Yeah. So many others. Uh, Beatrix Potter's famous character, Peter Rabbit, is brought to life on screen here. Uh, pretty much following just the, the storyline you'd expect. So, like, McGregor's farm, they, they keep... Trying to rob the, the carrots and the lettuce and... That's exactly that right, yeah, and it's... McGregor it's, keeps trying to turn There's not really a whole much to it. That's pretty much yeah. the film, but it's... It, it, it's charming. I loved it. Yeah. I really loved it. Uh, I, 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 did you grow up with Peter Rabbit? Did you read the books? Uh, I, I, you know, like I, I, I'm pretty sure along the line somewhere I would have. Yeah. Um, and you know, but I, I was never an avid fan of Peter Rabbit. Yes, you know, I love Peter Rabbit. I started, like nearly every single afternoon when I was a kid, I'd be right. watching like the animated series and mm -hmm. uh, Jim Puddle Puddled Up. The, of the, the um, I can't, I can't remember the names. It's been so long. But the the frog with like a little vest and the fishing rod and course, yeah. the very well dressed fox and everything. Who are all in the film? They're all in there. Um, so. I had a lot of attachment to that property, to the material. And when I first saw the the first trailer, they were like partying, and I was like, "Ooh, that is not the Peter Rabbit I remember at all." And I was yeah. so against the movie. I thought the whole thing was just blasphemy, almost like, "How dare you do that to Beatrix Potter's, yeah, Big Beatrix Potter's um, creation." creation. Yeah. And then I saw the second trailer, and I still wasn't convinced fully, but I was a bit more on board. I was like, "It'll be child, it'll be fun, childish." talk animal kind of nonsense. Right. Halfway through this movie, I found myself loving it. I was like, this is not the reaction I was expecting. <laughs> it's really good. Uh, really good. Yeah, I went in with no expectation of this, but actually with low expectation, because I thought this is going to be another generic mm. kids film, you know, talking animals. And it is kind of just that. However... But then so is Paddington. Exactly right. But, but th this just... This is just fun. Like this, yeah. this, this is just this is really good. And it's really it's it's just it's it's very endearing. It's very just heartwarming. And the it's simplicity fun. of it yeah. is what makes it. I think definitely. And I don't know if it's because I had such tempered expectations that I liked it more than I thought I was going to. But yeah, I'd be up to see a Peter Rabbit two. I think. Oh, definitely Peter Rabbit three. I think that, I I'm, think a trilogy. I'm not even too much of a fan of James Corden. In fact, he he kind of annoys me. So I thought. Yeah, hearing him would annoy me, but I thought he fit the character of Peter Rabbit. Extra, I, I, yeah. I thought it was done very well. I um, like you. I was. I, I don't dislike James Corden, but I didn't think he suited Peter Rabbit at all. Uh, but no, he does it very well. He, like his rebellious side, is also done very well because James Corden has a very upbeat yeah. voice. Um, but even like the, the smaller, more intimate moments, they're yeah. done very well. Yeah, very very well. Um, I thought that um, Domhnall Gleeson's character, he was excellent. I was about, uh, you took the words out yeah. of my mouth. Um, I yeah. thought he played, I, when, when I, I, I wasn't sure if he would have such a, you know, strong screen presence yeah. as one of the human leads in the film, mm. but he does, and he, he plays it up and he hands it up perfectly, yeah. and, and I, I think he's a nice compliment Definitely. to the animals. I think um, what I love about this was that it is very self-aware that it is not the exact Peter Rabbit that a lot of us grew up loving as Which kids. you will see when, when you see the original McGregor at the beginning of the Exactly. Film. And it's it's very self aware that it is not that, but even though it's 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 trying to market towards a modern day young generation, mm -hmm. um, it it still does embrace the old Peter Rabbit that we know. Like there's a few I'm not gonna say what it is, but there's a few really great little scenes that are straight out of the old Peter Rabbit. Yeah. Um, and one, yes, one is very kind of in your face too, like what is what is like? Wow, that's mm. that's gut wrenching. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And and just the style of it, the, like these scenes when the, when these scenes came on, I was like, oh my god, I feel like I'm a five year old kid again watching the, the old animated series. It was fantastic. Um, and yeah, like like you're saying, Donald Gleeson comes in. Um, so he he is he is playing McGregor, but 
the actual McGregor that we know from the books and the animated series, he's played by Sam Neill. Mm, who, who we didn't pick we up. We did not recognise until the credits came. Was it Sam Neill is in this? <laughs> we looked at each other and went, what? Sam Neill? <laughs> and I'm but, sure. Maybe it's obvious that we just are idiots and yeah. missed it, but it wasn't obvious sure, at the time. I'm pretty sure there's the voice of the pig as well. Okay, well there you yeah. go. But, yeah, so he, he plays Old McGregor, which is the one that we know from the books, and then Donald Gleeson comes in as the nephew, so he's still got the McGregor name, mm -hmm. but he's a different character to the books. And that, that's that shift that I think the movie takes, which allows the audience to be like, okay, they've embraced the old Peter Rabbit, yeah. now it's time for something new. Mm -hmm. um, a bit like what the Smurfs did, except the Smurfs did it very badly. Yeah. Uh, if I have to point out a negative about the film, um, I don't think you had a problem with it, but the constant pop songs. No, that didn't bother me. No, normally it does. See, that, 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 that got me. to me. Like, every new scene felt like it just was a current pop, pop song. Although, there were just songs that were just so out of left field. Like, there was a, there was a 2018 Peter Rabbit remix version of Len Steel and White Sunshine. <laughs> like, who... Like, that's, that song came out, like, 17 years ago. It's, it's like, it, it's just such an odd choice to update. To, like, that was, I'm, pretty, well, I'm pretty sure, because Sia does one of the voices in the movie. And she helped Will Gluck adapt the Annie songs for his Annie remake. Right. So I say that's probably what's happened here. She's she's come in and she's done her tweaking on, on right. the older on older songs. What do you think of Rose Byrne? Yeah, she was good. I thought like, she was very she, good. She you know she played the the human character mm. off of Tom Gleeson's character yeah. just as she yeah. should. Like her, her her character. I'm not too sure if she's meant to be an Easter egg or if it's literally if she's Beatrix Potter. Her name in the movie is B, spelled yeah. B E A, yeah. and she lives in the like. You'll see when you see the movie, her her cottage looks striking like what um, Beatrix Potter's yeah. cottage was known to look like with and little glass house. The and, and yeah, the, all the drawers. She's an artist. The, the, the watercolor paintings, and everything. So, um, and there's things that happen throughout the film that kind of make you think, oh, I wonder if this is the actual Beatrix Potter. Maybe this is the story that gives it the inspiration for Peter Rabbit. Yeah. There, there's a there's there's a few things that you can kind of read into like that, um, but overall. That's, I think it's a great movie. Yeah, I'm, you, I'm, I'm, I'm going to see it again. Four stars, easy. Four stars for me yeah. too. Didn't see that coming. You're mine, rabbit. Yeah! Oh! Tom, what's going on here? My two boys getting along. Nothing could make me happier. Ooh, I'm a rebel just for kicks. I got us into this. I'm going to fix it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Those are our thoughts on the new Peter Rabbit film. Tell us what you thought. What did you think? Clearly we were hopping with excitement. <laughs> yep, well, yep. <laughs> Had to say it. <laughs> uh, keep an eye out on the channel. We'll have new videos out soon in the very near future. And until next time, we'll see you at the movies.